Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening. How you doing? How's it going? It's, go it's going on. <laughs> What's popping? Yeah, it's, uh, it's Friday. <laughs> it's Friday and the body knows it. Yeah. But there, there's no payday close right so most yeah. likely most likely you're at home no payday so we can off yep okay jocelyn how was your day today hi teacher good evening to everyone good evening teacher uh, today was a common day for me we, i was back to back <laughs> At, at the work, I was escalated twice. <laughs> Yucky. Really? Yeah, come on. And but anyway, the day is over. So, thanks, God. <laughs> I'm referring people if you want. Really? What do you wear? Ah, by the way. <laughs> Black Hawk. At Black Hawk. Mm. Oh. It's all about prepaid cards, you know. So, just and I'm and I work at the most difficult LOB they have, which is disputes. You know, when somebody mm -hmm. suffers fraudulent transactions on you their cards. Yeah, but I don't do the adjustments. I mean, I just take the complaint and that's it. Okay, let's start disputing your charges. Of course, some people is very upset. Some others are like, oh, you know what? They they stole $40,000 of my card. Are you going to help me? And I'm like, yeah, sure. We're going to help you right now. Let's start the process. They go like, okay. And how long is it going to take? Mm, less than a month. Okay, perfect. Let's do it. And that's it. $40,000. I'm like, what? Okay. <laughs> yeah, like nothing. Yeah, they're they're offering seven hundred and fifty dollars right now as a hiring bonus. Yes, hiring bonus. There's a lot of money involved right now. I mean, if I, if you get hired, they pay you seven hundred and fifty dollars. I think they do it in parts. First, two fifty, two fifty, and two fifty. That's it. But that's good. When you start the training, when you end the training, and when you are hired. Oh, oh, really? I don't remember. I yes. when I was when I was in um, Converges, I think it's called now. No, Concentrix is the name now, right? Anyways, yeah. they uh, they That's gave cool. me a thousand five hundred as a hiring mm -hmm. bonus, a thousand five hundred on a new right. account, a new account. Mm -hmm. They were going like five hundred the first six months, five hundred in a year, and a year and a half another six hundred. So I mean five hundred. So yeah, but man, it was a lot of money. Yeah. And they used to pay every every other Friday. So every September we were like, wow, so happy. And the Christmas parties, good mm -hmm. memories because no more Christmas party, right? No more, no more Christmas party, no more anniversary. Were you in, in that call center back on December? Were you working already when last December? I was working for sites. I have oh. been working for sites for five years. Five years, right? Oh, okay. But last year, did you have a party or did they give you any incentive? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing, right? No, that's well in our case. Well, we got the Aguinaldo, right? The 13th. Yes, the Aguinaldo. 
the 13th salary, but no party, no, no incentives, no turkey, no turkey. <laughs> that was weird. Size give you the full aguinaldo. The money yeah. you earn is the full aguinaldo that you have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you reach a year in concentrics, I think they give you a full month sure. payment, a full salary. Yeah, not like per law, you know, per law, I think is like five days or 10 days. I can't remember. I don't remember the law. Mm -hmm. 10 days. 10 days. Well, I spent two years yes. without, I spent two years without working and in, in paying Seguro and FP, you know, so I don't know about us anymore and every december everybody was like yeah the aguinaldo and i was like mm, no i don't get aguinaldo <laughs> okay oh. that, that's what happens when you work independently when you don't work and you you don't pay seguro and ifp it's weird you see more money but as well you pay more taxes so let's move it let me start with the um attendance okay Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Presente. Welcome. Present. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Present. Hey, good. Carlos Armando Duarte. Carlos Armando Duarte is not here, right? So, aclaremos algo. ¿Quién puede estar conmigo 10 minutos después de la clase de los que no están como oyentes? Please. Someone, someone, someone. Let me choose someone. Someone from the end. Okay. Rina was with me before. Miguel Ángel? I think I was with Miguel Ángel before too. Oh, we'll see. We'll see later. Um, so, no, Carlos Armando, Claudia Maricela Solano Crespin. Okay, Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present. Excellent. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Not today. Jose Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Okay. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Reina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Present teacher. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Good. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. José Ángel Martínez Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present. Hey, Juan Marcos, three days. You have well, four days. You have missed already. One, two, three, four. Keep it up. Don't miss any other class, please. Okay, sorry, teacher. That's okay, don't worry. Okay, uh, so alguien no mencioné, perdón, alguien se acaba de incorporar y no lo mencioné. Mi teacher, Carla Janet Amaya. Okay, anybody else? No, okay. Yeah, we're 15 already. Good, let's go. Please don't forget to turn on your camera and put your full name there so we can continue, move on. Okay, so where were we? Okay, I want to start with a warmer today. Uh-huh. 
Yesterday we were talking about uh, wouldn't be better. We will uh, translate some sentences to English. Mm -hmm. That was a good exercise, right? It was like, okay. I have a question for you. And I like to make this question to my friends. When I see them tired, you know, like, uh, I don't want to leave anymore. Okay. How was your day? I want to see you. I want to see you having a normal conversation, a regular conversation, okay? How was your day? Well, today was a typical day, you know. I woke up at 4.30 a.m. I sat on my office here, started working. But today, lately, there are not so many calls. So for the first two hours of the day, I just sleep again, you know, I go to my bed because my bed is very close from my office. So I go to my bed and I go like this. And fall asleep and just wait and suddenly it rings, ring, and I wake up, take the call and then I go back to my bed. And that's the way, you know, then the morning, listen, the morning went by flying. I'm going to write it for you. The morning went by flying. Okay. In a glimpse of an eye. Glimpse of an eye. I'll Google that because I can remember very well. Okay. So it went by really fast. Then at noon, I had lunch with my three babies because today I was a babysitter. I was babysitting, I was babysitting my, my kids, my three kids. So after having lunch, we watched a movie. Then we played in the garage with the dog and some basketball. Then I decided to take them for a walk. So we went to the hardware store, to Vidri, to the hardware store. And we, we bought some things that I want for, you know, to build a gym in the garage. Then we, we came back and we installed a light lamp in the living room. And we have dinner together. And here I am. That was my day. A regular day in my life. So how was your day? What about you? Okay. Hey, what can you tell me? Hey, what can you tell me? Hey, go ahead, Alexander. What about you? And so on. Okay. Have a conversation, a natural conversation. I just want to hear you speaking like a regular person. Okay. Good. Don't say, don't, don't go like I woke up this morning and I washed my teeth and I took a shower. Nah, be natural. Okay. The way you do it in Spanish, same thing. Okay. <laughs> Let's try it. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Hello, Rina. I'm going to send you an invitation right now. Okay. There you go. Hello, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me? How is it going? How was uh, your day? I was. En pasado, ¿verdad? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How was your day? Um. I was, I was a job. Um, <laughs> permítanme que. Per What's happening? <laughs> Lo siento, es que mis perros aquí se han alborotado. Okay, no worry. Okay. Okay, I think I'm 
<laughs> okay, Carolina, tell me, how was your day? Okay, um, today it was um, exhausted. Uh, I went go. I went to work at seven thirty a.m. Um, uh, the usual activities take uh, take a bus. Uh, when I arrived at the office, I uh, check my emails, organize. Um, then I have a lunch at 12.30, 12.30 with, with my friend, with my classmate, or worker, sorry. Um, sometimes at 3 or 4 p.m. I have my time coffee, coffee time. Yeah. Um, coffee break. And when... Oh yes, the break. I have a break. Uh, when when I <laughs> when I work, I had to make uh, telephone calls. I have to do report with uh, to my boss. Um, do some some. Oh, I don't remember the word. Check is. What do you say? Checks, oh, just, just checks. Um, after work, when I arrive um, at home, I clean, clean the house, wash the, the dishes. Sometimes I do exercise at least three times a week um, with my family, um, does the housework. Um, and finally, Mm, I oh, you uh, the the classes, and then uh, I I generally do some things about. Good. Remember it, the question <laughs> was how was your day? Yeah. Oh. So it's like up to this point, and then I'm here. And then I started the English. And, uh, okay. Okay. okay, let's see. When I arrived of the office, right. when I arrived the office, when I arrived to the office, okay, I do reports to my boss. I do reports for my boss. For and my what boss. did I say? To oh. my to my boss. Oh. Mm -hmm. For my boss. My family oh. does my the boss. housework. Oh, uh, do. Uh -huh. My family or... do the housework. Uh, no, it's okay. My family does the housework, but I, it's like they do the home chores. Okay. They do the home chores. My family mm -hmm. does the, do, no, my family do, they, they, they do, they do the home oh. chores. They do the home chores. Home chores. Home chores. They do the home chores. Okay. Is the correct word or it, mm -hmm. it can be housework? No. Housework is House like work. a position. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, for how I'm, I'm a house sure. I'm a housewife. I'm a house husband. It's like I'm just el 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 amo de casa, el ama de casa. Yeah. Housework. Mm, They okay. do housework. Okay. Okay. Now say what about you, Miguel Angel? What about you, Rina? Okay, my day um Wait, Carolina, go. What about you? Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> what about you? How was your day, Miguel? How do you feel? Um, oh. uh, that is the program, program what I work every day because I am a secretary. I only write a memo. <laughs> If you, if you want to, to learn how to use a new software program, you, you can watch TV uh, and YouTube videos. You have to, to find uh, a lot of um, content about different software that you can I'm do. Not, you can use. I'm not interesting. Um, interested. Interesting? Interested. Interesting. Interested. Interested. I'm not interested in mm -hmm. to learn um, 
sour because I don't know, maybe I don't like that. Mm -hmm. uh, there, are, there are things that can make your life easier. Maybe. There are things that can make your life easier, like software to write a memo, mm. you know. I, I know only basic. Uh, Base, basic. You, uh, basic. <laughs> I know only basic. I secretary, but I don't know uh, how to how to do a fix a computer. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> With the computer, you you, you can learn about uh, different branches in in this in this world. For example, you. You can learn how to fix a computer, how to develop a new software, or or learn some programming language. I think you were trying yeah. to say some skills. You can learn some skills. Some skills, yes. You can develop some skills. Yeah. You, Keep going. You, you can learn about database. And... But now that I'm at home, oh my God, really? <laughs> Out of you three, you three, I don't want from Isa, Isela, from Isela, and you three, I don't want to hear Spanish. Come on. You can speak English. Very good. The three, the three of you. Come on. Okay, keep going. How was your day? By the way, sorry, a parenthesis. Isela told me that she will not be today at class because she got the vaccine and she has fever. Really? No way. I got yesterday. I got Pfizer. Pfizer. You got the Pfizer shot? Just one? The first one? The first one. Okay. I got the first shot and well, just my arm. My arm was hurting a little bit. I did feel a little bit of fever, but I took my temperature. I took my temperature and I had nothing. It's 36, 20. Normal. It's really odd. Well, hopefully she's better. The first, the first shot is supposedly there is no any secondary process, but secondary the effects. Second one is secondary mm -hmm. effects, sorry. But the second one is the one that supposedly you feel bad. <gasps> when are you having the second one? After las fiestas? After the holidays? Yes, August, August 19. I didn't schedule it, you know. I forgot to schedule it. Or they, they actually when forgot. Got, mm, they actually forgot because when you got the the car, they mentioned you will have the new vaccine, the secondary on that day. And they could <laughs> schedule the hour too. Yeah. Anyways, that's just the way it is. Okay. Keep on going. Who's missing? Okay. Alexander. You were telling about <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we're talking. <laughs> okay. Yeah, today it wasn't a common Friday for me because I have to go to the site to work. And actually I'm working from home, but I have to go there. And I had to go there. And you know what is it was a good day because only received three calls because I have some issues with my profile and with my computer and yeah. And that's a good, that's I, what we call a good day, right? <laughs> I, I spent all my day waiting for- For them, for them to- For them to fix the computer. Wow. But until now, they, they continue. They still working on your computer? Yeah. Oh my God, that's rough. Did you, you know, do something with your computer? <laughs> no, <laughs> not actually. Don't, don't remove the CMOS Maybe. battery. Never remove the CMOS battery. Don't do that, Alexander. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. I, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, now you know. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we're almost done. Keep going. Hey, make questions. This is a conversation. 
Yes. Are you full? Yes. It's Monday, no rain in, in my place. Monday, I don't remember. In my neighborhood, in my neighborhood, I see. Let's see who comes back at last. Miguel, Rina. Okay, they're back. Claudia, Elvin, or Johnny? Claudia. Your favorite part. Elvin or <laughs> Johnny? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a good way to choose someone, you know, and they keep talking and talking. That's good. Claudia, Elvin, and Johnny. Let's see. 10 seconds, <gasps> three of them. Okay, Claudia is the last one. Elvin's here, Johnny too. Okay, Claudia. Claudia Maricela, Claudia Maricela, here she comes. Okay, Claudia Maricela, good evening. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Can you turn on your camera, please? Okay. Claudia, uh, how was your day? Um, my day for today is a, stra a little stressful because I don't feel good because I have a temperature and I have had it. Headache. Like a headache. Yeah. I got a headache. Okay. But I did my first, how do you say in English, vacuna? Your, your first shot? Yeah, for COVID-19. Really? Okay. Your first shot. Yeah, that happened to me. I got a little, little headache. Arm, um, arm ache. I mean, my arm. I was in pain with my arm and I felt a little temperature. It was just a feeling, you know, next day I was fine. I was okay. So thank you. Okay. Thank you for being here. Have you taken any pills? Yes, I, ta I take uh, acetaminophen. Mm -hmm. Just acetaminophen. Try Tylenol instead. Tylenol is better. Okay. And something that I heard you guys, everybody, is that you should take aspirin, one aspirin every day, mm -hmm. because all of these vaccines uh, can coagulate your blood. You know, your blood cells can go like, you know, coagular. I think it's coagulate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you have to take one aspirin. I don't know, Doc, what do you say? Uh, what do you think? Is it okay to take one aspirin every day? Okay. No? Mm -hmm. No. At the moment, no. Okay. Es para adelgazar la sangre, me decía un, un amigo que doctor. I don't know. Después de los 40, teacher. After 40? Okay. Yes. I'm very close to that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start next year then. Every day, one pill. Okay. No, le va a provocar hemorragias. Eh, what? Anteriores. Yes, porque adelgaza la sangre. Entonces, <gasps> si en la cirugía se suspende. Pero es eh, lo indicativo después de 40, para evitar un infarto. De, si no es alérgico a la, a, al ácido, mm. a, a la aspirina. Bueno, ok. Didn't know that. Okay, Pero sí he escuchado, <risa> ya van varios videos que veo, doctores que me dicen que todas las vacunas contra el COVID están coagulando un poco la sangre. Imagino que ha hecho Pero es que eso era, sería previo, previo a la vacunación, a, durante la vacunación, ¿no? Mm. no es indicativo. Mm -hmm, es indicado, ok. Good to know. Ok, no problem. 100 dólares de consult. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that's, actually, that's actually cheap. 
Yeah. That that's actually cheap, guys. Ten dollars is cheap. It's not expensive. Thank you. And and virtual, right, Ada? Virtual consultation. <laughs> no, teacher. <laughs> Come on, virtual consultation. That's a good idea. Okay, guys, let's start with today's topic. We're in unit two still. Design a basic checklist to evaluate evaluate a procedure design a basic checklist to evaluate evaluate a procedure so let's see is there a quality department in your workplace do they monitor and evaluate your procedures I'm not gonna answer. I, I want to hear you. Is there a quality department in your workplace? Yes, yeah. there's a quality. There's a quality department. We say QA, right? There's a QA department. Yeah. There's a quality department, okay? Do they monitor and evaluate your procedures? Yes, they yeah. do. They do, okay. Uh, they well, do. Mm. how often? Every mm, week. Two, well, two twice times a week. Twice, twice a week. Twice, twice a week. Twice a week. Wow. So you got a total of eight evaluations per month? Yeah, sometimes 10. I only get like two a month or three. But I think, well, in my case, it depends on your performance. It depends on your performance. If you're performing good, if you're doing things right. Okay. It's in general, actually. <laughs> no, I don't know. Uh, th that's our case. In the case of my company and the call center, uh, it is, it's up to your performance. If you're performing oh, okay. good, they, they don't evaluate you that much. You know, they're not, they are not on top of you. They're not on top of you. They don't bother you. They don't bother you. Good. Uh huh. More options. They don't remove the bonus. They don't remove your bonus. Bonus. Yeah. That's right. It's easy. It's easy to get the bonus. It's easy to get in my case. Um, okay. So let me think. Ada Susena, is there a quality department in the hospital? Mm. Hmm. No, teacher. You sure? Yes. Nobody checks the nurse's job, the doctor's job. And uh, no, it's an oh. evaluation one year. One, one year. Once a year. Repeat. Once, once a, a year. year. Once a year. And depend the department. Is uh, propio de cada departamento. It, it's it belongs to each department. Yes. A yearly evaluation. Yearly. Do you think that's, that's a right? The nurses are just on the phone. What? That's why the nurses what? Are only on the phone all the time. All the time, nurses are on the phone. <gasps> Ada, is that true? <laughs> She's a doctor. I know, I know, but she sees nurses, nurses all the time. So a yearly evaluation, but Ada, do you think that's all right? Is that okay to have one, a yearly evaluation? No. It's, it's, it's frequently uh, once a year. It's no, o sea, yo no estoy de acuerdo. I disagree. Repeat. I disagree. I disagree with that. Is the patient is the muchas quejas. The patients. Okay, patients. The patient. Now let's generalize. Let's generalize. Patients. Patients. Complained frequently. Complained frequently, the doctor. Frequently. <laughs> It's very frequently the doctor uh, complains. Receives. The doctors receive complaints. No, the, the doctor receives complaints. 
from from the patients. Why? The patient. Why are these complaints? Yeah. Por la because of the attention. attention. The attention is and the displeasant good okay um, uh, la, long time for the the attention a long time oh and there's the always a, there's always a delay yes it's a three and four hours <laughs> a huge a, delay in the attention Yes, it's frequently the, the complaint. <laughs> it's frequent. Uh, the complaints are frequent. The complaints are frequent. A huge yes. delay in the attention to patients. That That's common, right? But are, do you work for a private um, hospital or, or a public? It's a two. Both. It's a Both. hospital and private. Both, yes. Both. Oh, it's okay. A, in the privacy is a um, different <laughs> different attention. Okay, there's yeah, there's better. So there's better attention in the private hospital. Repeat it. There is better. There is better attention. Attention and in, in the private. In the private hospital. Hospital. Okay. And that's true, right? <laughs> that is true. Up until today, there's always uh, better attention in private hospitals. I'm sending you this. Hold on. So, okay. So, teacher, now, is that it depends the, the day and the Monday, Tuesday, and Friday is a lot of surgeries. 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 Uh -huh. Surgeries. And uh -huh. Friday, uh, Approximately and two and five. Two and five. Yes. Surgeries, minor surgeries. Yes. Minor surgeries, not minor. not very complicated. It depends. Depend the patient. It depends um, on the patient. No, right. Of course. I mean, but what is more common in the hospital, minor surgeries or complex surgeries? The two. <laughs> both. You have both. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Thank you, Lita. Okay, Thanks. guys. Let me think. Let me see, Sabrina. I know you said you work as a secretary. Secretary, right? As a secretary. Um, yes. Does anybody evaluate your job, your procedures? Yeah. My bo my boss. Evaluate my procedures. Really? Okay. How yeah. often? <laughs> um, once, once a month. Once a month. Once yes. a month. Yes. Okay. How do you no. feel? How do you feel when that happens? Um. <laughs> when he goes like, okay, let's do your <laughs> monthly evaluations, and uh, Sabrina. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it does okay, okay. It it's okay. okay. It's okay. It's part of my work. Or your job, your job. It's part my of job, my right? job. It's part of my job. Mm -hmm. I, I accept that. You accept it. Okay. Easy. Good job. Yes. Okay. Good, 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 good. Uh, let me see, Carla Yanet. What about you? Is there a quality department or or someone who evaluates your performance? Uh no, there is no, there isn't in my job. No, there, there is, is no any, anybody. A, um, quality department. No. Oh, okay. There is an quality. My department. boss review my my job. My I boss reviews my, reviews my, my, my job. job. Okay. <laughs> that is good. Let me show you something really quick. Someone, um, I think, who was it? Claudia? Yeah, Claudia was showing a big issue in her. <laughs> you see that? He just came to visit. 
It's very small. It's, it's, he's supposed to be a pit bull. He's supposed to be a pit bull, but I don't believe this is a pit bull. Look at him. It's a shame. It's a shame. He's not a pit bull. What is the name? His name is Chele. Chele. <laughs> I'm like, why? Right? His eyes are blue. He's very nice. I thought that Max was going to kill him, you know, because my, my dog is a husky and that's a pit bull. But there was no problem, thank God. So, <laughs> where's an accident now? Okay, so let's move on. No quality department, Carla. So, does anybody evaluate your job, your procedures? Uh, my boss reviews my job. Okay, how often? Every day. <laughs> Every day, really? Yes. How, how long have you worked? in that company? Uh, three years. Three years, okay. But do, do you think they love you? This is a common question. Uh, kind of. <laughs> they appreciate you. Okay, they appreciate you. I mean, after three years, they must appreciate you. That's good. Okay, you see what I'm doing? We're having a regular conversation talking about quality, Okay, now, in, is there a form? This is another question. How formal are they in your job with the evaluations on your procedures? Elvin, does your job has like a format, you know, that they need to go fill in? Okay, so let me see, your computer is okay. Your workspace is clean, okay. Everything is in display. Your cell phone is off. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Is there a form, El Elvin, in your case? In, in my case, uh, there are uh, there are a quality department, but the the products oh, so the different production. Yes. Product. Yeah. They there just are... check the the final product. Yeah. The, exactly. Mm -hmm. There are there are uh, there are different um, a quality, for example, a, a quality customer, a customer quality customer, a, a quality corporate. Hmm. There are there are different. Check what is the quality the product. But okay. the, the pro, but the pro, pro, the this uh, pro, procedure. Proce procedures, <laughs> procedures. Uh, there are a uh, e e check each uh, week because there are, there are uh, different and uh, new product change the procedure what is the the what is the let me see a specification for the product it's the specifications of each model changes I yeah. know when they create a new model, a new, yeah. yeah. I used to work um, in a factory too. Have you heard of Silene? Ladies, Silene, Silene. that's, that's uh, underwear, women underwear, yeah. bras, bras and underwear. I used to work there and I used to, take the times on what you do, Elvin, you take the times on the production line, you know, and assign goals on the production line. But at the end, there was a quality department, a quality control department, yeah. check, checking every piece, right? Okay, it's okay, let's go, next one. Okay, this one is okay. I got you, I got you, I know it's not, it's not yeah. easy. Yeah, the classification for, uh, for, for, for uh, uh, irregular, Rocks and uh, yeah, and the uh, best quality and the best quality, right? Okay, yeah. so there are, there were faulty, faulty pieces, right? Faulty pieces, faulty pieces, averias. Okay, okay, very good with defects. Okay, good. You see, this is a normal conversation. Let's move on. So, next step we have to do in this, uh, we're on page 23 now. We need to complete the satisfaction survey using the words in the box. So here you have 
a satisfaction survey. Have you ever taken a satisfaction a satisfaction survey? Yes, I have. You have? Yes. Where? Yes. Where? What products? Or services? Service. Uh, claro. Internet. Oh, you're mean. Claro. You're a bad person. Don't do that. <laughs> Think about the agents. I mean, oh my God. Oh, okay. It's, it's, it's good service. It's good service? <laughs> okay. No. It's okay. What do you think, Jocelyn? Have you ever taken a survey? Yes. What kind of service or product? For Claro. Uh, but in my case, I evaluated very, very nice to the agent because yeah. I know it's not her fault. His or her fault is the company fault. It was the company's I fault. It was on the, on the another one. Yes, because I received service and I know that it's not my fault. It's the company's it, fault. It's not you, his her fault. Yeah, it was the company's fault. Yeah. Do you believe in the karma? Do you believe That's in the reason? Do you believe in <laughs> karma? Yeah. <laughs> hey, no, but you can help. You can help the agents. I mean, in the end, you know, they get a bonus, you know, and everything. So that's my advice. Okay, Juan, have you ever taken a survey? Hello? Have you ever taken a survey at any service or product? Um, survey. A survey, a poll? It's another way of saying survey. Yeah, survey. You know what is a survey? To evaluate, to evaluate um, a product or service performance, if you liked it or not. So let's do it, guys. If you know what is a survey, we are gonna use these words to fill in the blanks. So easy, okay? Now, this is to indicate your level of agreement or disagreement with the following statement. So for example, we wear da 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 promptly, strongly disagree, disagree, agree, strongly agree. So you have these four options. We just need to fill in the blanks with each one of these words. And we're, we have seven, one, two, three, four, five, and only five words, okay? Five words for seven blank spaces. So I know you can do it in couples really quick. We only have 10 minutes for this activity, okay? Okay. Okay. Did you understand? Yes, teacher. Okay. okay. Good. Let's do it together. It's page 23. Okay, um, so Johnny, could you um, please be so kind to share? And we will start evaluating. Okay, we have to collocate the five, one, two, three, four, five, six, two, four, five. Worst five in the blank. The highest score and one is the lowest. Okay, in the first one will be we were we were hi hi Fernando do you, tell. Do, you, do you want that I share my screen with the book or yes please yeah please do it what page is number that 23 one. That one. That plan, okay. Yes. Yes. Complete the satisfaction survey using the word in the box. Okay. But we had to call okay. Disagree. We were seated yeah. promptly. Yeah, we were seated. Uh, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me annotate. Wait. Okay. Eh, sería sit. sit. No, sería sit, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo se escribe? How do you... 
City. Say City. City. I don't know. City. City. Okay. And we have to check mark, use a check mark or X mark with that or only the, the words, only fill the words, the blank we space. Need to fill, the, fill in the blank with that one too. Mm, we can place, I strongly agree. Okay. No, uh, strongly agree, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't know that this, Number was four. red. I I, can, I have to change the color. Let me give me a second. Uh, that is better. Okay. The what is take order quickly? The the, uh, server. the server. server. Yes. Server. I strongly uh, agree. I strongly agree. Agree. That one is disagree. Ah, okay, agree. okay. Yes, agree, agree, agree. Ah, okay. strongly agree. Okay, strongly, strongly agree. Okay. Agree. The server was friendly and patient when patient when patient when when taking taking taking, taking our order. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, our server coordinated the timing of the the the, the last one, the seven. Uh -huh. Considering everything, our server experience was a good value. Uh, or what do you think? Everything or or yes, sir, and which one on the set and the second one the. Which one? The dishes. The dishes was there to take or no? No, the... the, 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 the. Server, no. Ah, oh, yeah, sure. server, because this, this server was friendly. Server is a, pers a person. Uh-huh. The, uh, the server was there, yeah. The server was friendly and patient when taking our order. Our server coordinated the timing of the... Dining, maybe. <laughs> Dining, yeah. perfect. Oh, the... for sure. Dining. Oh, dishes. Uh-huh. Mm. The timing know. of okay. From grade the number number one, the server was there to take or order quickly. Was there to take or then? Okay, the server was there to take our order quickly. 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 Okay. Um, number is the agree. Number three. Okay. I don't agree. know what. What do you think? It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Uh, the service was friendly and and fine fine when taking or order. Um, server was wrong. Uh, disagree. Disagree too. 
Is everyone staying impatient right now? Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Okay. Uh, our server coordinates to timing of dishes perfectly. Uh, I strongly agree. I strongly agree. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the server was ability to ask where all our question, all our or question, question. All our question. Several <laughs> questions. Um, yeah. Um, What do you think is the number five, uh, six? Number six, overall the service was excellent. There's nothing to add in there. You think there's something to add in there? The service was able to answer all our questions. Overall, the service was excellent. I don't think you need to add anything on six or five, five or six. What do you think? Okay. And that's why we only have five words. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. Any any new words? Um. Oh, sorry, teacher. We need to complete number five and six. No, I don't think so. No, that's why you only have five words. So, for example, number one. What do you have? A number one. We were seated. Seated. Properly, I mm -hmm. mean, promptly, promptly. Mm -hmm. Number two, the server. The server was there to take our order quickly. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. Number, number two, the server was around in fashion when taking our order. Our order, our order, our order. Yeah. Okay, let's check them with the rest of the group. Okay. Okay. So how they did. Let's see Thank how they you. did. You're welcome. Okay. Another activity. No. Right now. No, no, it's no, no, no. No, just the first one, the chart. Okay. Let's see. Love, love me, do. You know I love you. I'll always be true. So please. Me like, what's going on here? <laughs> Love me too. Um, I, I was watching a short film today when Paul McCartney met John Lennon. Paul McCartney was 15 years old. He was just 15 years old when they met for the first time. And you know what? John Lennon said no to Paul McCartney. The first time they met, John Lennon was like, nah, you're too young. Can you believe that? Wow. Oh, my God. Okay, William didn't want to come back. Where's William? Okay. Hello, William Alexander. How are you? And Jose Antonio. Okay. Hey, William. Uh, sorry, all right. <laughs> okay, let's go, guys. Let's check the answers um, to the chart, everybody. So, everybody, one, two, three. We were... Server. Seated. Yeah. Okay, repeat. Seated. 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 Yep. We were seated. Seated. Promptly, okay. What will be number two? Server. 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 Okay, the server was there to take our order, our order, our order quickly. Do it. Our order. Our order. Our order. Better. Good job. Okay, number three. Taking. The taking. server was friendly and patient when taking our order. order. Our okay. order. Good. Number four. Our server coordinated timing. Dishes. Of the dishes 
dishes, okay? Dishes. Our server dishes. coordinated, coordinated the timing coordinated. of the, the timing. Oh, perfectly. Oh, I'm sorry, the dishes perfectly. Coordinated the timing of the dishes perfectly. Okay. What about number five? Dining. Hmm. Dining. 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 Actually, one. number five. Oh, the last one. Okay. <laughs> Which is number seven. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. There, there was nothing here on five and six. So considering everything, our dining, 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 our dining experience, 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 experience was a good value. Value was a good value. 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 value there you value. go value. what's a good value excellent okay considering everything our experience or dining experience was a good value okay now i want you to think for a minute oh well while well, you think yeah, sure hey i have a doubt with the word what word dining 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 mm, oh well because mm -hmm. i've learned like dining, actually. Dining. Actually, if you put the word on the translate. You want to challenge me, Alexander? I don't... <laughs> no, no. I, I, because I, I want to know. You don't trust you. I'm going to say the Austin Powers. Calla boca. Calla boca. <laughs> the golden member it was so funny. Well, Let's say, dining. Cool. Okay, you're saying well, dining. Let's choose US English. Listen. Oh, wait, I'm not sharing the sound. I have to share the sound. Wait a minute. Let's take a look at that word. It's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, listen. The kitchen, the dining room, and we claim them. For okay, she's the dining room reason that the Virginia Tech campus remains open and housing and dining services will continue to be provided. Dining services. In brick houses furnished with Louis XIV dining room sets. Fine dining China. Room. And I've got the dining room set up and the... I don't want to hear dining room. I want to hear cooking. But in terms of like... What... Wait. Dining and other attractions. You heard? Secondly, is just a short distance from shopping, dining, and other attractions. Dining. One more. The okay. Big Mighty Tower. You will find a vibrant hub of entertainment. <laughs> And dining featuring the enormous mm. Dubai dining, dining, yeah. dining. Okay, hey, remember Juglish, mm. Juglish. Don't believe me? Go to Juglish, go to juglish.com and just type the word, hit play, and you'll hear many videos using that word. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's keep going. So, I want you to think, oh, well, before that, I'm sorry. I have to do the attendance one more time. Ala Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Carla Ivania. Hello. Is Carla Ivania here? Well, Carlos Armando Duarte. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespin. Present teacher. Good. Elvin Arcide Seguizabal Martinez. Present. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Carla Yanet Maya Herrera. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landaverde. Present. Miren Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present, teacher. Oh, good. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Excelente. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Roberto Luis Sumaño Orellana. Roberto Luis. He's there, right? Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Present, teacher. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. 
Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. José Ángel Martínez Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present. Excellent. Okay, let's move on. So now I want you to think. Teacher, me, Ivania. Ivania, didn't I mention you? Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, I want you to think of the best experience you ever had at any restaurant. Any restaurant. Best experience. The best experience in your life at any ever. restaurant ever. Mm. Mm. The same mm. thing all the time. <laughs> the same thing all the time? What do you mean? All always the same. Is the same service. No, I don't know. Just the best experience you ever had at a restaurant. What right. happened? How was the service? Were there waiters? Because nowadays, let me give you an example. Uh, my family's my family's favorite restaurant is El Diamante China. El Diamante de China. El Diamante de China. Chinese diamond. I don't know. El Diamante de China. Is it here in, in La Constitución, in, near to La Chulona? Okay. Is the best Chinese food we have ever tried. Well, the second. The second. Okay. Because there is there are no waiters. There are no waiters in that restaurant. You just order your food. And well, if you eat there, they take the food for you. But if you order it and take it home, it's better. You get more food you take out. But the best ever experience is when my, my wife graduated from her university. Um, a friend of hers, a friend of hers, um, used to work at the Taiwan embassy. Okay, so she invited us to El Dragón Dorado. Maria, in the escalón, no, no. What, William? Dragón Dorado. Dragón Dorado. Yes, it's in the escalón, in the opposite. Uh-huh, it's very close to Hunam. So, man, but they took us to the second floor of the restaurant. Mm -hmm. And we were, we were 14, we were 14 sitting in two tables, two separate tables, 14 people, two families. And the center, the center of the table, you can uh, move it, you know, it was a circle, you know. We tried, I'm not lying to you, we tried like 20 different dishes, 20 different dishes. We tried fish, we tried, we tried eggplant. Do you know what is eggplant? Yeah. Do you like eggplant? No. No, I, but in the case, I have never tasted it doesn't taste eggplant doesn't taste the berenjena yeah. taste to nothing yeah so we tr we even tried that with chinese beans frijoles chinos chinese beans salsa frijoles chinos it was crazy i mean 20 dishes fish meat pork oh my god that was amazing and the best part you know what was the best part we didn't pay. What pay? <laughs> we didn't pay. I mean, they they invited us. Mm. the The ambassador, the ambassador said, "Oh, don't worry, I'll pay for this. I'll pay for these dishes. Eat all you want." It was like, thank you, thank you. <laughs> it was amazing. So that was the best experience in my life eating. You know, I ended up, I ended up full, really full, but it was delicious. So what about you? Well, in my case, uh, I remember when I went to see a match of the World Cup in Brazil 2014. <laughs> in La Taverna, I think, I think it's the name. Uh, 
that that time they interview with me because they say I look like the Ar Argentine player Di Maria. <laughs> well, really? If, if you search me in Google, I'm name. gonna do it. Re <laughs> you really? <can> do <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is my best experience. <laughs> okay, what happened? Oh my uh, God, Angel Di Maria. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> and that was. I, I, I was I was famous like five years. Unbelievable. For two years, unbelievable. Oh, okay. Wow. Now, regarding your restaurant experience, what's the best food, the best service you ever had? You know, was it a La Pampa or anything like that? Any restaurant? Okay, so I want you to have this conversation with your classmates. Look at the chart we made, okay, where they, where you sit it promptly, where you sit it promptly. Now, let's make it questions where you sit it promptly. Um, was the server, look at what I'm doing, look at your chart, look at what I'm doing. Was the server there to take your order quickly? If you notice, what I'm doing is just making questions out of the current um, sentences. So where you sit it promptly, okay? The was, was the server there to take your order quickly? Can somebody help me making this a question? <laughs> was the server friendly and fashion? Good, when William. Taking your order? Excellent. Uh -huh. Next one, Claudia Maricela. I need to hear you. Our server coordinated the timing of the what? The timing of the dishes, right? Yes. Perfectly. Okay, let's make a question, Claudia Maricela. Okay. Uh, okay, the question is, for example... Uh, Let me give you an example again. The server was friendly and patient when um, taking your order, I think. Right? Uh -huh. William, do it again. The server was friendly and patient when taking taking our order. Okay, to make a question, Caro, um, I'm sorry, Claudia, look what I'm doing. I bring the auxiliary to the front. Was the server friendly and patient when taking your order? Because it's a question, right? Your order. So what is the auxiliary in this sentence, um, Claudia? Our the auxiliary, the auxiliary. grammar auxiliary. Uh, our server coordinated. So this verb is in past. The serve our server coordinated. Wait, wait, wait. Our server. Our service coordinated. Timing of the dishes perfectly. Timing of the dishes. Perfectly. So what is the auxiliary for the past? Simple, Claudia. Is coordinate, coordinate. Okay, yeah, okay. The verb goes back to the base form. Okay, no ED. So what is the auxiliary here to start a question? Okay. Our coordinate. Oh. The of the dishes perfectly. Okay, so to make a question, guys, you need the auxiliary, right? Yeah. And the... you will, yeah, you will identify what is the auxiliary by looking at the main verb. Is it in past? Is it in future? Okay, is it in simple Based. present? So, did do I need to say your or our? Um, the our, our, our. you can say our right but your let's say did your server coordinate the timing of the dishes perfectly okay mm -hmm. 
Who can help me with number five? Carly Okay. Number five. Mm -hmm. Was the server able to answer all our questions? Okay. Was the server able to answer all your questions? Excellent. Okay. Next one, Johnny. Overall, the service was excellent. Make it a question. It uh, service no, was. Uh -huh. Was. Okay. Was, uh, I had to use overall. Yes. Was overall serve. Was the mm. server overall excellent? <gasps> no. Yes, good. Was the service overall excellent? Or was the service excellent overall? Okay. Or overall, was Over the service excellent? No matter the position, the overall, it's a final. Or... I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> It depends, guys. I mean, you cannot use it in a question like that. You can use it at the beginning. Overall, was the service excellent? Okay. Was the service excellent overall? So I'm going to stay with two examples. Overall, was the service excellent? Was the service excellent overall? Sounds good, right? Yeah. What you cannot do is say, was overall the service excellent? Uh, no, doesn't sound right. Okay. And the last one. Elvin stood up. Sarina, help me. Number seven. Considering everything, our okay. dining experience was a good value. Was. What you what you experiencing a good value? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Okay. Was your experience a a good value? Was your experience a good value considering everything? So, guys, this is your is an. Appreciation statement. You are appreciating something, contemplating the situation, gazing at the situation. You are evaluating there, considering everything. It's an opinion. It's just an opinion. So it can be at the beginning or at the end of the question. Okay, and always separated by a comma. So considering everything, was your experience a good value? Teacher, I have a doubt. Yep. Can we do this question? Did you consider that everything was a good experience? Do you consider? Did you? Uh, did you? Did you consider your experience mm -hmm. a good a good value? Did you consider your experience a good value? Did you consider your experience of good value after all? Yes. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. So again, there are many ways of do making questions, right? So that's a good example. Okay. So this is a survey. Now I want you to following your experience at a restaurant, make the questions to your classmates. Okay. Did, have you gone to the choice? <coughs> have you gone to the choice? Yeah. No? Never tried the chores? Yeah. What? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Were you seated promptly? Yeah. Actually. Actually, yeah. there are no seats. You know, there's nowhere to yeah. sit. Just to take a... Oh, yeah. you okay. You need to make a line. You need to make a line to eat. Okay. Uh, was the server there to take your order quickly? 
No, you have to make a line to no. buy the shorties. Okay, be smart, be creative. Have a conversation just making these questions about any service you have ever had, okay? Come on, let's do it. You can do it. Guys. Hello. Hello. Hello, Ada. Hello, Miguel. I know you like cherries. What do you do? I very, very like cherries. <laughs> um, um, in front of my in front of my company is uh they have a a little carrito. How do you say in English carrito? Roller, a little roller. A little okay. roller. <laughs> the charis. And I prefer it. I like it. <laughs> Trolling. <laughs> I like no, embutidos, you? teacher. I don't like. <laughs> it's a little food truck. It's a little food truck. You, you don't like embutidos? Yeah, me neither. Me oh, neither. No. It's just the rest, you know, the, the sobras, the rest of the food <laughs> blended and yeah. Oh my God, the rest Keep of the food. <laughs> uh, no, don't do that. Okay, uh -huh. keep going. Now oh, start making questions. Okay, girls. Um, what is the question? What What has been your best restaurant experience or experience restaurant? The best restaurant experience. Restaurant experience. Okay. What has been your best restaurant experience? Um, just okay. Um, Okay, um, I remember when I was a, ch a child, when I was a child, my uncle invited me, fa my family, and I went to La Unión, La Restaurant, La Casona, and I don't like, how do you say in English, aguacate? <laughs> Avocado. 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 But my cousin, um, cousin, sorry, I forgot it, the words apostar. I forgot the word apostar, bet. Bet, yes, thank you. My cousin bet me, uh, eat, eat all the avocado. I don't pay nothing for my for my food. And for this reason, I eat all the avocados. <laughs> for this reason, I ate. I ate all the food with avocado. For this reason, I like now avocado. This is my ex-friend that I have. This is my the best experience that I, that I live or that I have because I think in my in my that I don't like it avocado but I like it. Ah okay really did it didn't you get sick uh from eating too much? From eating yeah yes <laughs> okay I think that oh the avocado is color green. No, no, I don't like it, but it's uh, delicious. It's delicious. <laughs> oh, okay. it's delicious. Um you, Miguel, what about you? Remove a some dish and the food is good. And well, the experience was good too. Um, so I don't know. <laughs> um, I that. In my case, I remember in donkeys, I have never been to a place like this, but uh, I remember that the food there was very delicious. Donkeys? Um, yeah, donkeys. Donkeys? Yeah. Donkeys. Yeah. 
donkeys. Mexican food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Donkeys. <laughs> Burritos. Uh, uh, I prefer Ringas. Sounds the, the most delicious. I had a bad, me, right? a bad experience in this restroom, rest, restaurant. So the food uh, really? wasn't good. In my case, I don't like. I didn't. And, you don't like. And for me, it was expensive because I don't. I don't. I didn't. I didn't eat. And, and I have to pay for the food. <sighs> and you didn't eat it? No, I don't like I don't like I didn't like it. it. Uh, I didn't like it. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm? Okay. Somebody else? I can remember if I ever had a bad experience with food. I don't know. I think I never had a bad experience with food. In my I case, it's the only, it's the only one restaurant I didn't like the food. It's the only restaurant. The only restaurant, yes. I didn't like the food. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, keep going, guys. Come on. To have a conversation. That's the whole point. Okay. I had, a, had, I had my stomach. Stomach. When stomach. when I I hit I eat the the food uh, a lot of food. Did you eat? Yeah. Oh my god! Yes. <laughs> I know. So the score is strong. It is my, my experience. Okay. Continue you showing. Okay, well, this is maybe not a best experience that I but I will change what I will share with you. One time we went to Dennis with my daughter. We went for breakfast. So uh, the wait the waiter was, was really kind with the kicks. He provided my daughter uh, some candies and provide her uh, some some colors to draw what she want. And he was playing with her. So I provide him five dollars propina <laughs> just for that. But he did he did he ask for tips? Uh, no, they don't ask for tips, but they give you the they give you the uh, the ticket when there is the amount that you need to pay for the for the food. And there is, uh, there is another say there is no ticket uh, at here. So you can provide to them what you want. What do you want? Oh, just you gave you gave to him. I gave him five dollars. I gave oh. him very good. Not two. <clears throat> oh, you say two. Gave him. I gave him. Uh -huh. I she I uh, for example, him. he provided my daughter some color pencils. He provided my daughter my daughter some color pencils. Good, mm -hmm. good. He provided my daughter some color pencils. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Avoid the two per position. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and what about you, LB? Again? Nah, let's go back. Okay, okay, okay. Good. I love to hear you speaking, you know, I guess I'm able to identify what's going on here. Okay, last uh, part of this session, we have to discuss about different opinions. As I told you at the beginning of the module, this module is for you to start um, making this thinking 
process. It's a thinking process. Give your opinion. How do you feel about something? What do you think about something? So it may sound boring, it may not sound boring, but you know, it is what it is. It's, this is English for work. And it, this module, we're talking about restaurants, which are very common. This is a very common topic in real life, in a real life setting. So on page 23, we have two questions. And this has to be done in pairs. <gasps> Our satisfaction service, a good way to make sure procedures are followed in a restaurant. So let's think again as a restaurant owner and as a guest, you're not a customer in a restaurant, you are a guest, okay? So let's start as a guest. How do you feel when they give you a serving in a restaurant? Have you ever received a serving in a restaurant? Not yet, not in a restaurant. Hmm. I receive a, a serving in a food court. In a food court, really? Yes. Like uh, Metro Centro or? Like Multiplaza, like... Multiplaza in Taco Bell. Uh, they gave me a, gave. No, they gave, they gave, uh, gave me a, a survey and if I, I complete that survey, uh, they give me a, a chalupa free. <gasps> okay, if I completed that I survey. Completed the, the, the survey, yes. Um, they were, they were going to give me a chalupa. What is a chalupa? It's like a uh, sopa de tortilla? No, it's like a, it's como a taco, pero como tostado. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> okay, no, 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 not anymore. Oh my God, I'm hungry. Okay, sorry, I'm on a diet still. Okay, really? Okay, nice. So they give you something in exchange. They gave you something in exchange. Okay. Uh, also in Burger King too. Now, how did you feel, Fernando, when you filled that that survey? I mean, as a customer, you were like, mm. I mean, uh, I in 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 that moment, I saw that survey like a free food, and I completed it. You just said good to everything. You said everything yes, was good. Yes. Excellent. Well, everything, everything was good. <laughs> Liar. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. So, but do you think it's okay to make sure that procedures are followed? It's like, what? how can they find out based on a survey if the food was overcooked or not cooked? properly which is one of the main questions in a survey was your food okay yes, but that depends on the customer because the, the, all the customer have difference how do you how do you say it? opinions points of view of points of view they have different points of view very good um okay customer well satisfaction customer satisfaction now guys believe it or not if you have been to a restaurant, you have had, and you must have had service if you went to a restaurant. Not in written, but I bet you at the end of your meal, the manager or the captain of waiters approaches your table and he goes like está bien todo por aquí le gustó la comida hay algo más que necesite mm -hmm. qué le pareció la atención estuvo todo bien okay le esperamos la próxima vez hmm. was that a survey yes <laughs> that was a survey right <laughs> I, <laughs> <until> today, <laughs> I noticed <laughs> now I noticed right now like wait yes they do that very often okay now, to ask the questions. Mm -hmm. they always approach, approach you to make questions, right? Do you consider placing posters about procedures in a strategic, in strategic places 
will help employees follow these procedures. Have you ever been to a restaurant where you see a big poster telling the waiters, wash your hands, wash your hands? Mm, what else? Smile. Smile. Yeah. The customer is always right. Mm. <laughs> How do you feel when you see that? Nodding my head. <laughs> okay. Wash, wash your hands. Wash your hands, right? Uh -huh. Wash your hands. Okay. Yeah. Papayons Lourdes. In the central Lourdes. In their restroom, there's a big legend that says, wash and dry your hands twice before you go back to the kitchen. It's like, wow. Okay. And this was in 2019. I mean, before COVID, before COVID, they had this big legend in their bathroom. I was like, wow, the, their bathroom, sorry. Okay, so give your opinion. You have two questions, then I will make you the same questions and you have to tell the whole, the whole class, okay? Look, think about this topic, food safety procedures and checklist. Food safety, hmm, what can you say about food safety, okay? Answer these two questions on page 23, exercise three. And again, let's do it together, speaking. Okay, let's go. Guys. Hi. 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 Hello, everyone. Everyone. Okay. Um, being extracted. <sighs> the checklist. Okay. Yeah, okay, tell me about your experience of you of your clients or your guests. Hello. Mm. Experience. Experience. Hey. In my, in my opinion, it is a way to make sure you follow the procedures. Yeah. Service. Our Okay, guys, I, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you my experience in okay. Pizza Hut. Yeah. Okay. Um, I remember. I don't remember good, but I try. Uh, okay. One day, uh, I went to eat at Pizza Hut with my soccer team um, to celebrate that we were champions of the first division of amateur. Is correct? Yes. Okay. And okay, and we we arrived many people. We arrived many people to the restaurant. Um, we throw the service was going to be bad, but in reality, reality is correct, teacher. In reality, 
or reality, okay? Or, but actually. Okay. But in reality, it was very good. Very good. Um, and they gave you a great service. The, uh, the food was delicious. The white airs were, were very attentive. Um, the experience was excellent. Experience. The experience. Experience. Yeah. Okay. They also gave gave used to pizza for the championship. <laughs> they and used to give us. They used okay. to give us. Give us. Okay. They used to give us two pizza for for pizza. our championship. Two yeah. two pi two pizzas, or they used to give us pizza. Pizzas. Okay, they used to give us pizzas for the championship. Okay. For the championship, yeah, and um, and that was very nice because we didn't expect the truth was a spectacular experience, and this is my 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 experience. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What about you guys? Ask them. What about you guys? And what about you guys? Ok, son los, las encuestas de satisfacción una buena manera para hacer que los procedimientos sean seguidos en un restaurante para asegurarse que los procedimientos sigan seguidos en un restaurante control yes. de seguridad alimentaria ¿Ah? so, ¿Cómo puede un, un, un cuestionario de satisfacción indicar si se están siguiendo los procedimientos en un restaurante? Procedimientos de control sanitario de comida todo, o sea, el servicio la atención, ¿será que sí funciona? No al 100% Ok, not 200%. Very good. Ok, ese es el punto. Very good. Mm -hmm. uh, ahora, ¿consideran que poner posters con los procedimientos en lugares estratégicos le va a ayudar o ayudar a los empleados a seguir esos procedimientos? No siempre. No siempre, o sea que sí puede ser. Yo creo que yo lo consideraría, yo lo consideraría algo un poco humillante, no creo. Sí. Así como que para los, para los empleados es como que, wow. Sí, para los que hacen caso. Ajá, y como, como cliente lo vería yo, por ejemplo, eso que les decía de ver el rótulo en papá, yo no sé cómo. O sea que estos no se lavan las manos y les tienen que estar recordando. Mm. <risa> más, más yo que he visto un montón de cosas y he investigado un montón de cosas y hay un estudio que dice que al hacer eso con los empleados tiene un 20% de efectividad un rótulo de lávese las manos oh my god no funciona lo que sí funciona es ponerles un rótulo con estudios clínicos Ada. Yes. sabía que sabe si se lava lo, las uñas con cepillo como debería de ser cada vez que va a preparar alimentos oh oh Ajá. Uh -huh. Para echarle al, al, al software la, las ensaladas. Oh my God. No. <risa> no, yo he visto cuando tienen la cajita de guantes y utilizan los <risa> nuevos guantes cada vez que sirven. Por lo menos lo que, que he ido. <risa> Very good. Ok, ahora, let's say it in English. You can okay. <risa> And you got the idea. Now let's do it in English. The same thing. Okay. The same thing. Mm -hmm. Keep trying. And don't you can do it. Let's discuss about these two questions. Okay. 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 Yeah. This is my, my uh, error. Uh, teacher, uh, what did you say, Maya? How do you say net? Hairnet. Hairnet. 
Ah, ok. Cuando They no encuentres que sí, piensa ah. que muchas palabras son compuestas. Cuando no encuentres cómo decir algo, piensa, ¿será que está compuesta la palabra? A ver, quiero decir, Maya, pero es que me leí una red para el pelo. Ok. Net, hair. Ok, hair net. Hair net. Oh, ok. Good. Esa es otra manera de aprender. Ok. <risa> lo primero que vas a hacer es pensar, net hair. Net hair, pero he dicho que lo que califica el nombre va primero. O okay, que califica entre malla y pelo. ¿Para qué es la malla? Para el pelo. Ah, ok. Hairnet. Hairnet. Ok. Ok. Y así okay. vas a aprender. Ok. So, ¿qué estamos haciendo? Estamos discutiendo las dos preguntas. Y ¿sí? en la página 23. Uh, son los, yeah. las encuestas de satisfacción una buena manera para asegurar que los procedimientos son respetados o seguidos en un restaurante? ¿Será que son buenas las encuestas? O sea, porque te hagan como cliente una encuesta, permite a la empresa, al restaurante, identificar si los procedimientos están siendo seguidos. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Si son un um, Strategy. 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 <laughs> Strategy. Uh, uh, al revés. Strategy. Ah, strategy. Strategy. Very good. Is a good strategy? Okay. Good. Mm. What do you think, Carol? Uh, it depends, but because sometimes when, uh, so it's uh, like a marketing strategies. Uh, it could be strategies. Strategy. It could be Strategies. <laughs> Stra. Stra. Strategy. 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 Es que están haciendo al revés. Strategy. Strategy. There you go. There you go. Strategy. Hey, Jose Antonio, uh, come on. Strategy. Strategy. Okay. Strategy. 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 Good strategy. That's good strategy. Okay. Okay. Uh, so it could be a good way, but for example, if some um, in the tickets, uh, something said, something says. Uh, if you complement complete the survey, the survey, survey, mm -hmm. uh, we offer a discount or a gift uh, or something, but uh, sometimes not the the clients or customers uh, that don't reply sincerely. It's true. Okay. Sometimes they true. don't reply sincerely. Why? Mm. Jose, Jose, Miriam, why do you think that as a customer, you don't say the truth on the survey? Okay. ¿Por qué será que los comensales, los clientes no dicen la verdad en las encuestas? en un restaurante o en cualquier lugar, de hecho. Mm. Cuando alguien te ha dado el servicio, mmm, aunque haya sido pésimo el mesero, mmm, yo no oh. digo cosas malas, eso sí lo tengo. Porque me pongo, soy muy empático, entonces me pongo, pobre tipo, o sea, ya, yeah. no perder el trabajo y para qué. Ok. Ok. So, come on, guys. You have to speak. Okay, the second thing, the second part of this conversation is considera que poner posters, poner anuncios um, acerca de los procedimientos en lugares estratégicos ayudará a los empleados a seguir los procedimientos. O sea, como decirle a los empleados, no se le olvide lavarse las manos 20 mil veces antes de volver a la cocina. Mm. ¿Será que mm. le va a ayudar? Mm, yes. Mm. Yeah. Maybe. Yes. Yes. Because um, record, uh, remember the response of you? 
The what? I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, because remember the responsibility. Uh, oh. And this consumer. Okay. It reminds the employees, okay. right? It reminds the employee about its responsibility. Mm -hmm. Its responsibility. Okay, so it reminds the employee about its responsibility. Mm -hmm. What about from the customer perspective? As a customer, you know what I thought when I saw that sign in the bathroom? Number one, I knew it was for the employees. Number uh -huh. two, I thought, oh my God, these people don't wash their hands. Mm -hmm. These people don't wash their hands. They have <laughs> to be, they have to be reminded by their employer to wash their hands. Yes, <laughs> porque le había leído un artículo hace mucho tiempo sobre que la ley de Pareto del 100% un 20% de personas se lavan las manos en el baño. Y si se les recuerda de esa manera, es peor todavía, es más bajo el porcentaje. Entonces hablaba de que es más efectivo, es más efectivo usar un estudio en el anuncio. Así como, ¿sabía usted que si no se lava las manos frecuentemente puede sufrir de todas estas enfermedades? Like... <laughs> <laughs> right, It's psicología. Like, uh, if, you know, if you don't wash your hands... You get uh, COVID, something like that. Yeah, now. <laughs> yeah, now with COVID, everybody's washing their hands. Yeah. They are washing their clothes better. They are using the mask. You know, my God, life changed. Life really changed. Okay, let's go back, guys. Guys. Okay. Teacher, tomorrow we play the selector. Really? Tomorrow? Really? Tomorrow? Isn't it Wednesday? Yeah. yeah. Tomorrow. I, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a soccer fan, but my neighbor is a soccer fan. He's crazy about soccer. He, he burst fireworks during the matches. That heavy, that heavy. So I heard him, I heard him earlier. Hey, do you know when is the Selecta playing? And he was like, wait, Wednesday, uh, 2 p.m. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> really? Because I like it. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'm more of a basketball guy, you know. I prefer okay. basketball. Greetings for you. For the little Aliancita. Oh, come on. Uh, <laughs> My father in law is a big Aliancista. He loves Alianza. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Mm, let's, up, <laughs> let's talk about your addictions. One of these days. What do you think about it? Think about it. On Monday, let's start talking about your addictions. The addictions, teacher. Come on, your addictions in life. For example, coffee. Yes, <laughs> I am an addict. I am addict oh, to man. coffee with cream. Yes. And I love that last week they brought back, listen, they brought back the cream, liquid cream from Nestle, I think it is. Yeah, from Nestle. Do you, have you tried liquid cream, Ada, with coffee? Mareto, and... More or less, coffee, yeah. black, <laughs> American uh -huh. coffee. You, you love American coffee? Black coffee. Black coffee. La majada, majada de oro? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, majada de oro or cos cafe, whatever. Whatever. Whatever, just black coffee. Sugar? No. Ah, oh, come on, Sugar. follow. Sugar. For the, uh, coffee or <laughs> what, William? For me, my favorite is uh, Juan Valdez or Juan Diaz. It's too, I don't know if you don't know how to prepare it. Mm, you have to know how to prepare the coffee. That's the key. 
with Juan Valdez. It's, if you put too much coffee, uh, it's too strong. Sure. Right, right. Awesome. Good, guys. Let's go. Let me check the attendance for tonight. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Present. Carlos Armando Duarte. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespín. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night, Elvin Arcides. Wait. Present. Están cuatro minutos, todavía no se me vayan. Elvin, thank you. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present. Thank you. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Present. Hey, good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present, teacher. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Hola. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Present, teacher. Thank you. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. She wasn't here today. Um, William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. I'm here. Okay. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present teacher. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. José Ángel Martínez Hernández. And Juan Marcos Guzmán. Okay, wait a minute. Thank you guys. We're missing three minutes, two minutes. Okay, two minutes. ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma, señores? Where should we be? ¿Dónde deberíamos estar con la plataforma? Y también necesito saber, claro, eso no es obligatorio. Este día le tocaba a uno de sus compañeros quedarse diez minutos, a Carlos Armando Duarte, pero parece el compañero nunca ha asistido a clase, de hecho nunca lo he visto eh, entonces si alguno de ustedes quiere quedarse 10 minutos lo puede hacer ¿eh? piénsenlo y me dicen en cuanto a la plataforma déjenme ver pasamos el midterm exam a este punto ya todos tendrían que haber terminado el midterm exam y estar ya por comenzar section 3 haber terminado ¿verdad? la sección 3 o comenzar la no, para, para ahora ya prácticamente haber terminado casi que la sección 3 ¿Sí? por lo menos haber llegado hasta el midterm examen y iremos bien recuerden que pueden repetir cuantas veces sea necesario su examen sus exámenes para poder ir mejorando ok and if you have any doubts you can text me ok ok nobody staying Anybody staying? No? Okay. Yep, well. You can? Who can? Who can? Yep, Juan. Me, Juan. Perfect. Oh, but Juan, it's just that you are not. Estás de oyente, Juan. Sorry. Um, alguien que no esté de oyente. Nobody? Como oyente. Mm, um, a ver, luego le explico, eh, Juan. Esa parte de ser oyente, no. Okay, chicos, chicos. Good. Well, good night. I'll see you tomorrow at eight o'clock. Okay. I mean Monday. <laughs> I'll yeah, see you Monday. on Monday at eight o'clock. <laughs> Enjoy your weekend. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, bye Carolina. <laughs>